Hello, hello, hello. This is Rupesh, and you're watching CBP Nuts video series on C++ 14 video series list, and this topic is about a return type deduction in C++ 11, sorry, 14, not 11. In 11, it was little different, but in 14, it is much more convenient than 11. So as you can see that it is a return type deduction, and we'll be using two things here, one auto, another one, decal type auto. So I have created a video on decal type. So if you don't know what is the decal type here, you can go ahead and watch that video for better understanding on this decal type, sorry, decal type. But if you don't want to go, it's okay. We can understand this here also, okay? So we have two examples, example number one and example number two. In example number one, I am taking two parameters as value and I'm just returning the result of that. So if you will call this function with add, one comma two it will actually return three but what is the type of that three that would be integer correct so the return type deduction would kick in and its type would become integer okay this is cool so let's go for the second example which is a little bit trickier so concentrate well this is increment function we are passing some variable by reference so we'll take that variable whatever variable is so let's create one variable integer p and after that you are just calling this function inside main so i'm just writing here it's okay so increment and you will just simply pass this p in that so currently p hold 10 and p is coming here as reference so P A++ means actually P++ because we are taking this as a reference. Now you are returning this A. This is very important point here. You are returning A and you have used type detection auto here. Then in this case also, it will assume that the return type of this is integer only. Okay. Here it will assume it is integer. Okay. But what if you wanted integer ref? Not only integer, integer ref. What I mean to say is there is some another variable integer ref y and you want to initialize the output of I mean the result of this one as reference to y. So actually you want to refer y I mean refer p using y but if you are using auto here you cannot do that you have to write what I mean to say is something like this you have this auto here and you have integer p p integer p is equal to 10 and you have integer ref y is equal to increment that's it so if you will do this this is a problem here as you can see that you are getting this error so we are not actually returning the integer ref if we are using auto here then there are two options either you use auto ref and save then the error will go see now it has gone and if I'll just simply print P and Y then both will be pointing to the same number so let's check that as well and let's compile this so see it have compiled successfully now if we will run this see both are 11 and 11 so this is okay this is okay only when you explicitly apply this ref here then don't you think it is condition like even if you have auto here why it is not deducing the type of this a so then you have this one if you will use decal type auto here then you don't have to write ref or whatever it is and this feature has also come inside c++ and this is totally new i mean it's newer than c++ 11 now what this one will do it will actually check the type of a so the type of a is integer ref so it will deduce integer ref here that's why if you will compile this again and you will run this you'll see the same result but only auto will not work here okay you will get this error so if you want anything else than the value type here then you have to write that explicitly but you can save yourself by writing this decal type here and why why we will go for this auto and all because 
it makes your life so easy okay what i mean to say is let's suppose you have a very big type here like integer comma integer and like this and you want to return this vector then you have to write this full thing here oops here correct so can you see it is looking very hard to understand what these things are okay so this is little clumsy and it is not good if compiler can take care of this just by writing auto and if you need ref or const or volatile qualifiers then in that case you can actually go with this decal type and wait a minute don't go anywhere we have these things to discuss so if it is integer sorry constant integer x is equal to zero and you have you are initializing this x inside this x1 and writing auto then its type would become integer okay because you are writing auto here so x1 will become integer so can you see that actually you are initializing x which is of type integer but constant integer so this x1 should become constant integer i mean if you want it to be then if you want it to be a constant integer go for the decal type auto see if you will initialize x which is of constant integer inside this x2 then it will become constant integer so cb qualifiers will also be taken care if you'll use this decal type and the second point is see this y is zero that is fine you are initializing y into this y1 so y1 is actually referring to y now and y2 is declared auto then in that case y2 is an integer type but using decal type auto you can actually make it integer ref and similarly it go for other types also okay so it's very good if you can use this auto you should use and you should be very careful that this will not deduce type if you have a reference or constant and volatile qualifiers for that you have to use this one okay and these things applies to the lambdas also so i'm not taking lambda example here but you just understand that these things applies to lambda also okay i think we're done here thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you have not done yet i'll see you in the next videos Bye bye